Hello once again. We are going to review something that I've reviewed on about four occasions already, but I want to do another one. This is going to be a proper review of Blade using an emulator. Yes, outright. Again, I don't know what this crap is. I think it's supposed to be a cheat, but it's not in, it's not in English, so forget it. Whatever, I pushed one, I think. See, when I saw this, honestly, with you, I paid 10 quid for this game. I played it on the Commodore 64 first. When I saw this loading screen, I thought it loaded, I thought, looked at the game. At this point, I thought, wow, this is going to be brilliant. Looking at graphics, looking at trees and everything else. And okay, it goes to the screen, it's to the selection of your joystick or your keyboard, whatever you want to use. We can use keyboard. Keyboard layout's not bad. Well, I'm not saying it's not bad, it's alright. Controller, controls are alright. Use it for not for God, I don't, I don't want that keys anyway. And then it loads up the game. Luckily, this is a disc version. Well, it's an emulated disc version. I had a cassette version that took forever to load. To turn over tapes, and you look at it, you thought the car was alright, but then the playability of the game, as I keep mentioning it, is absolutely crap. And count how many times I'm going to say crap, shit, or fucking during this review. Because this game was absolute fucking shit, crap, and whatever else you can say about it, all negative. Look, the, the car just switches lanes, from, and that is just poor the way it does it. Right until you get behind it, and it just switches lanes, and uh, it, the game is, uh, itself is unplayable. I mean, the crash de detection is shit, the frame rate is shit. The grow the colours, I mean the car colour, the car, looking at the car, it's not bad. The Ferrari's not bad to look at. Until the even the background really is okay, but it's the green road. So the lines in the road are just so out can be out of place sometimes. And the sound effects, it's, what is the point of having sound effects? What is this going to do when you go around the corner? Go beep, 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 beep. That's it. That, that's no point in that. What's, that is just crap. Shit, whoever programmed this gun, I think it was US Gold. It was US Gold. They programmed, I oh, assume. Yeah, it was. It was something to the US. It comes up with US Gold. How the hell can they make the Commodore 64 game so good? And when it comes to the Amstrad, it make, they made it shit. How the hell can they have the audacity to charge £10, or £9.99 at the time, which was a lot of money for a computer game back then? How can they charge £9.99 for this pile of shit? What, what was they thinking? How can they do that? I, I can't imagine anyone liked this game. I mean, look at the graphics now. The car's putting up the end. The car's not even turning. It's terrible. Whoever coded this, you can't. How the hell could they get away with it? Oh, it's gone back normal now. But as I was saying about the green road, I thought the Wizard of Oz would follow the yellow brick road, but follow the follow the green snot road. I mean, come on. Look, then the road's just changing. I think we'll get get to the fork stage where the road splits. Slightly speeds up a little bit because it's not so much the process. But yeah, I suppose the colour of the cars, I suppose it's not bad. And then you gotta wait for it to load. If you had a cassette version, you were fucked because you wait for, for ages to wait for load up. But this is as I said before, it's a disc stimulation. And there's no way, there's no way on earth that I'm gonna say anything good about this game. Because in all my reviews I say that it is an absolutely shit game. It's a shit game to play. And I don't know what else I can there's nothing good I can really say about it, apart from the Ferrari. Ferrari looks decent. Well, half decent, but there's no point just going by the Ferrari. I mean it takes everything for a game to be good. And this game is far from that. Nothing's good. It's, it moves so slowly. 
and I played much better games for the Amstrad. Like Chase HQ was a brilliant game for the Amstrad. That was probably one of the best versions I've ever played it on. It was, that was even better than Commodore 64 version was better than that. And um, I don't know, something about the US Gold that doesn't really like the Amstrad, I think, because not a lot of their games that I played were made by US Gold was not really that good for the Amstrad. I don't know what it was if favoured the Commodore 64 more. So, I don't know. They could have done a lot better than this. I know the Amstrad is a good computer. I've owned an Amstrad for occasions, but... So I know what the Amstrad is capable of. And, you know, whoever programmed this didn't, didn't know what the clue I was doing, because this is just... Just, it shouldn't even been allowed to sell, basically. It should not allow to be sold. Now, look, we've got to the third level. I think it's the furthest I've ever done. And look at all these trucks. They're taking out all the lanes. That was... This is nothing like the arcade. I'll tell you that. The arcade is fucking brilliant. First, that's probably one of the best arcade games I've ever played. Was out And they did a turbo outline of this game. And it wasn't even that much better. You thought they were going to learn by their mistakes. But even that was shit. It was slightly better than this, but it was still shit. And it was US Gold again. Some they just can't program their games for on the Amstrad. Fucking stupid. And this... Okay, they make a crap game, but they didn't have to make a game. It was quite expensive to buy. And, you know, a, a, a game like Outrun. Why make that shit? There's just no excuse really why they made it shit. Because well, they're just wankers, I suppose. Oh, we can't do it on the we don't know how to. Fucking idiots. Yeah. I suppose there were some of the skull games that was alright, but, you know, they were cheaper, cheaper budget, budget even in games, but this. He's <laughs> just calm. He's just crap. Come on. I don't know if US Gold exists anymore, but probably don't. Probably been bought out by another company. Well, I don't, I don't know if they don't make any recent games. I don't know. Don't all sad for them. Don't really care. But, no. It is absolutely shit. I keep saying that. Because it is absolutely shit. And it's absolutely shit, because the crisp, uh, collision detection is also shit. The movement, frame rate, everything about it. I mean, you don't even tell you what fucking gear you're in. I mean, how hard was that to put in, uh, up the top where all the, the miles and the time and the whatever is up there? How hard was it to put a fucking... tell you what fucking gear you're in? Oh, just, you have to guess. You can tell by the RPMs, but, you know, it's not the point. It's not like it makes any difference to the speed. It looks like it's going so fucking slow anyway. You can't tell how fast the thing is going. There's no, no sensual, sensational speed there. It's just nothing. It's just a waste of time. Waste of money. It's just a waste of money. It was a big waste of money. I mean, I could have bought about five maybe about four or five budget games for that, and they all would have been better than this shit. Yeah, I'm glad I'm, it's going to run out of time anyway, so... I'm glad this... Uh, I just wanted to review this properly, because I was doing crap, doing a bunch of crap reviews, so... Uh, so I might as well just add this to the even crapper review. Well, it is a crap game. Well, this version was a crap game, and that's the end of it. Hopefully I'm going to do this one no more, I just forgot about like it. So that's the end of this review, hope you enjoyed it, do love the time, love the time, and goodbye.